Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Sebastian, and I would like to present to you today my project about object detection and segmentation using neural networks. Where is the car? Well, that's a question I would obviously never ask you, because as a human audience, you're very good at visual detection tasks. In fact, humans have no problem detecting objects um, in all kinds of shapes, sizes, whether they're rotated, translated, partially obstructed from view. We have no problem with that. Now, from the perspective of a computer, this problem is much harder. And this is where my project comes in. So my project was with Tractable. Um, Tractable is a successful startup that is working on optimizing expert tasks using deep learning techniques. Um, so one of their products is able to classify, given an image of a car that had an accident, whether it can be repaired or whether certain parts need to be replaced. Um, my project in particular comes in here, where I do not only have to detect and segment a car, but a particular piece of the car. So we were focusing on the front left wing of the car. Ideally, we would like to create an algorithm that, given a picture of a car, is able to highlight the area, which I have manually highlighted here in blue, and output that image. So what techniques are we using? Um, so we're using a neural network, which we are basing on an existing neural network, which is already very good at detecting, um, classifying images into a thousand different categories. So unfortunately for us, none of these categories was front left wing of a car. So the network has to be changed slightly, the architecture has to be changed, it has to be retrained. Um, but after doing that, it gets very good at the task at hand. So let me show you an example. So this image, um, which as you'll all agree in the middle of the image contains a front left wing, um, if runs through our classifier, yields a very good result of more than 98%. Now you might be wondering, as I did, uh, are we actually able to distinguish left and right? So we can figure this out by mirroring the image, running it again, and yes, the probability drops to almost 0%. So the neural network is very good at the task we want to solve. So going from the step of um, classifying the image to actually detecting exactly where the part is we are looking for, the approach is as follows. So we take the image, we draw um, a little margin around it to account for edge effects, we then take lots of crops, which um, despite how it looks here, we did actually not opt for a random approach, but we go for a very regular sliding window approach. So the window is just sliding across. We take lots and lots of crops. We then take all those crops, um, run them through the classifying neural net we have, and get a probability of containing the front left wing for each of those. So you'll not be surprised to see that if we go um, pretty much front on, the probability is very high. If we slide slightly off, it's, it gets lower. If you have images which don't contain any part of it at all, it obviously drops to zero. There's a few surprises as well. If you look at the one at the bottom right, you might think as a human, well, that's part of the front left wing, so why, why does it get so low? But that basically just tells us that the neural net is looking for different features than we are. So in this case in particular, we figured out that the neural network seems to like the part of the front left wing, which is very much uh, on top of the wheel. Um, so we take all those crops, we classify all of them, and we put it together to create a heat map. And with, with this relatively simple approach, we already get a pretty decent result. Um, so you can see, as I was pointing out, the network seems to like the area which is just above the wheel. So this image <laughs> is already quite good, um, but this is a relatively simple one for the network to classify and to create this kind of heat map. So let's have a look at a more difficult image. This one, given that we're dealing with insurance claims, it's not, it's not an unlikely one to actually come up. So let's first see, because the front left wing is pretty much destroyed, whether the network can actually detect it. Um, yes, it can, with a probability of more than 99%. Our neural network tells us there is a front left wing in here somewhere. Um, so let's see what we can do if we run the algorithm we have in place. Unfortunately, that is not looking very good. So that's the best you can do by carefully optimizing. Um, so we have to come up with a better algorithm. And what we do, instead of originally just taking crops of one size, we're varying the crop size. We're also varying the aspect ratios. We're partially weighting them according to how likely the image is to contain a front left wing at given sizes. Um, we put everything together in a clever fashion, and um, then we get something like this, which already looks much better. Now, keep in mind, it's a difficult image, so um, this is quite a good result already. Let me already remind you of the previous, previous image we had. Um, if I run the new algorithm on this one, the result still improves. So it's pretty much um, spot on the front left wing now. So the question whether we can detect the front left wing of a car with a neural network, we can answer with yes, we can. 
And in fact, this is not the only thing we can detect. So we can adapt this, um, this algorithm using a different neural net to find any car, par car part we like, or in, f in fact, find anything we like. So this can be applied to lots of things. It can be applied to um, human-computer interaction or to um, image modeling in um, medical data or to product inspection in production processes or to self-driving cars either on Earth or elsewhere. The applications are endless. Thank you very much.